Is an agency recruiter going to try to get you less money on your job offer, or are they going to try to get you more money on your job offer? This is a really interesting question, and somebody commented on a YouTube video of mine recently asking if a recruiter is ever paid more to get the candidate to accept less on their job offer. And this isn't actually a cut and dry question. It's pretty nuanced. In today's video, I'm going to answer that. Let's go. Now, as a foundation of this conversation, I want to talk about how agency recruiting works. I am an agency recruiter. I manage a team of agency recruiters, and I've done that job in my past. And basically, the way it works is as a third party headhunter or agency recruiter, you are hired by companies to find them hard to find people, right? So there are companies that you work with, and they're going to pay you a percentage of the fee of the person they hire to find somebody. So someone might say to me, Ben, we want you to go find us an engineering manager for $100,000. That's our salary that we can pay someone. And upon placing that person, uh, they would write my company a check for $25,000, which is 25% of the salary. Now, the way it works for most recruiting agencies is the recruiter is paid a base salary, plus they get a percentage of that commission. So let's just say they get paid 25%. Well, that means the recruiter... Um, out of that $25,000, we'll get somewhere around uh, $3,000 for that placement. And that's how it works in general. Now, a quick note here, uh, the candidate never has to pay anything, right? The company pays the recruiter for finding the candidate who they ultimately hire. The recruiter gets a percentage of that, but the majority of that fee is paid to the recruiter's company that they work for. So let's do the math real quick, right? If it's a $100,000 position, uh, the recruiting company gets paid $25,000, and then the recruiter gets a percentage of that. So what is the difference from the recruiter's perspective between like $100,000 and $90,000? Now for the recruiting company, that's uh, a difference between $25,000 and $2,250. But for the recruiter, it's somewhere around $300 of a difference. So it's actually not that significant. So the third party recruiter, the agency recruiter, the headhunter, if they place you in a role and the difference is $100,000 or $90,000, it really doesn't make a significant impact to them from a, from a revenue perspective. Now, to put it directly, I, as a agency recruiter, have never been paid more from a client to get a candidate to accept a lower offer. Not only have I never had that, I've never heard of this. I've never heard of a recruiter being paid more. Like, tell you what, we'll give you an extra $1,000 if you can get your candidate to accept a offer that's $5,000 lower. I have never heard that, never seen that, um, never known anybody to encounter that type of situation or seen it play out. That being said, recruiters are incentivized to keep their clients happy. Um, as a third-party recruiter, if you have a client that uses you for many searches a year, that can be um, hugely beneficial to your career as a headhunter. Having a company that's going to use you for five, ten searches, you can build your entire year around that company's business. And then you can augment that with a few other onesies, twosies here and there. Because recruiters work on commission, they are definitely incentivized to keep a client happy. So while they are not given money to get a candidate to accept a lower job offer, they are incentivized to keep the client happy and to keep them billing on the long term. So they do want to be good stewards of their money. One of the things that is very clear to me that I think is important for candidates to understand is that recruiters, they do not represent you. They represent their clients. They're going to have their client's best interest. So if you tell the recruiter, hey, I'm willing to accept 90, but I'd love 100, the recruiter isn't going to go there and say to the client, hey, it's going to take 100K. Um, they're going to be honest with them. They said, hey, I think they would accept the job at 90K. They really want 100, but I think you could get them for 90K. That's how it works. The bottom line here is that recruiters represent the companies, not the candidates. They are not paid to get you a lower offer, but they are incentivized to keep their clients happy. And sometimes that means helping them achieve a cost savings. So you should keep that in mind when you talk with your recruiter and you share what it is you're looking for, what you'd accept, etc. Now, one of the things that I think is really important in this conversation is understanding how to negotiate salary. It's why I made this video here. This video here covers everything that you need to know when it comes to negotiating a good salary and accepting an offer. It is a complicated process and it starts from the very beginning 
to actually accepting the offer. And this video, I cover it all. So I'm done here, but I will see you over there.